Describing course 3 to you, the course has several units in physics part 1 of your class 12 book. This is divided into 5 units and touches upon totally new natural phenomena. The difficulty in understanding this sometimes is that a lot of imagination is required. You will be dealing with charges, moving charges, associated magnetic fields. You would be learning about two types of electricity that we use in everyday life. Your DC as it is given from your torch batteries, toy cells and the AC that comes to your home how it is produced, how it reaches you, what are the ways that you control the current in different circuits. So you will be doing an in-depth study of resistances. What causes the resistance, how it changes the current, how it changes the potential difference developed across it. These will be some of the areas which you will touch upon in DC. Similarly, you would do how AC is produced and different components that would change the value of current and voltages in AC circuits. You will then go on and extend this idea to use it for production of EM waves. In all, the course has very exciting things and we as teachers have tried to bring to you some things that are conceptually difficult to understand in an easy way. The video component, for example, has also experiments placed along with the lecture. This will help you to connect what is being taught in theory to what really happens. Likewise, in your e-content, we've tried to put many real life examples. We've also put problems for practice. We've also tried to engage you in thinking beyond what is written over there. So a team of very dedicated teachers with uh, my sharing PI, uh, Dr. Rachna Garg, uh, we would be taking you through the course and uh, I hope it will help it in a way that it is easier and more enjoyable for you because physics can be a lot of fun. Even the mathematics that we have included, at every stage we have said why we are using a particular type of uh, method of calculation so that you relate when and how you use different mathematical operations in your physics course. So the math doesn't become overbearing. You first understand the physics and then you include the mathematics in it in order to explain it and logically deduce what it means. So enjoy your course and have fun with it and I hope it will help you in doing many things after that with your course.